Every time I look at someone's Mac, their menu bar is all packed with random icons, Bluetooth, VPNs, cloud services, apps they installed three years ago and forgot about them. And most people don't even realize the menu bar can really make a big difference on your Mac display. You just need to know how to customize it correctly. So in today's video, I will share seven menu bar settings that you can apply right now. Let's start with the appearance. This one instantly changes how your Mac feels. Click on Apple icon left side top corner, go to system settings. On left, scroll it little, look for menu bar. Now on right, the first setting at the very top is automatically hide and show the menu bar. Click on this option and from here you can choose the one suits your style the best. I prefer myself always. Now the menu bar disappeared immediately and the, the display looks so clean. The dock is already disappeared, menu bar disappeared too. So I will only see them when I move my cursor at the top or at the bottom. Ever since Mac OS the whole came out, the transparency factor is as default everywhere. So if you want a bit of background, you can also enable show menu bar background. Most of the icons up here in the menu bar, you don't need them showing all the time. So in the same menu bar settings window, we scroll it little and from here you start picking up the services you necessarily don't need. If you don't use Siri, you can disable it from here, although I leave it the way it is. You can remove a spotlight, keep Wi-Fi or you can even remove Wi-Fi because this is the part of control center already. You can also remove Bluetooth that's not necessarily needed in the menu bar. Battery, we need it. Focus mode. We necessarily don't need it. Part of the control center. Screen mirroring. When active, you can leave it the way it is. Display when active. If you have multiple displays, you're connecting to your MacBook. Sound always show. If you want to disable it or only if you want to show it when active, you can change it from here. Fast user switching. Icon, we have it here somewhere. There it is. If you have multiple user accounts on your MacBook, you can use this to flawlessly switch between those accounts. But for me, it's not needed. So I like to completely remove it from the menu bar. Time machine, I don't want it. Weather, yes, I can use this. But we are not done yet. Scroll it down. And this section is something which is the key player. A lot of users will find a whole bunch of apps allowed in the menu bar. So from this menu, you have to scan through all these apps and disable the unnecessary apps that you don't want to show up in the menu bar. Right after that, if you move cursor in the menu bar, you will see so much cleaner menu bar already. You have only limited and reasonable icons that you want to see. The battery menu has a hidden diagnostics. How are the mouse on battery? Click on it. You will see no apps using significant battery. Well, on my Mac, I have pretty much everything sorted. I don't have random apps running in the background, so I don't see anything. But in your case, it may be different. You may have some apps running in the background, consuming significant amount of battery and also high CPU. So you can click on this option once it's highlighted apps using significant battery. From there, you can simply kill that process. Moreover, you can also click on battery settings and you can customize your battery uh, usage and settings or the modes all from here. By default, you won't see battery percentage in the menu bar. If you wish to enable it, all you have to do is press and hold control key on the keyboard and click on battery symbol. And you will see this option show percentage. You can enable, disable that right from here. And now this one feels super powerful and I'm pretty much sure you don't know about it. Press and hold option key on the keyboard and click on Wi-Fi symbol. That instantly gives you first of all the Wi-Fi diagnostic menu. If you have a problem in connecting with your wireless network, if you have a problem with the speed, you want to troubleshoot the Wi-Fi drivers, you can do all from here. At the very top, you will notice these three options. Enable Wi-Fi logging, create diagnostic report, open wireless diagnostics. You have a problem with the wireless, you can click on this tool, wireless diagnostics. Moreover, you also get the information about your wireless network, the IP address of your device, the IP address of your router, the MAC address. 
with the Mac OS Tahoe release, this is a new thing that is being added. You can click on this control center button in the menu bar and you have this preset control center where you see most of the essential icons already. You have this tab here, edit controls. A whole new window appears right there. If you wish to add any one of these controls, you can simply move them, drag them, or you can remove them just like that from the control center. Also, you can add another control center. When you move cursor on the menu bar, you have this plus symbol, click on it. And now you can choose one of these icons, the sound icon. And from here, then you can find all the controls related to sound, drag them here, click on done. Now you have a dedicated control center for controls related to sound. I have seen majority of users always clicking on the system settings, get to Bluetooth and then set up their Bluetooth enabled devices, whether it's uh, AirPods, it is uh, some uh, keyboard mouse, they do it from here while you can always control it right from your menu bar. If you have the Bluetooth icon enabled in the menu bar, you're good to go. If you don't have it there, you can click on the control center and you have the Bluetooth icon here already. Click on it. And from here, you will already see the list of your connected devices or click on Bluetooth settings to set up one now. Not only that, if you press and hold option key on the keyboard and click on the Bluetooth icon in the menu bar or in the control center, you find a lot more details, insights about your device and the Bluetooth information. I find weather app in the menu bar very useful. When you click on it, you get to weather app. And from here, you can add the location you want. Type and search. Click on plus symbol to add in the list of your weather locations. All these locations weather in just one window. And more importantly, it's all ad free. And that's how you can customize the menu bar on your MacBook. No clutter, no extra icons sitting there. All cleaner look and only when you want it to appear. Now, if you're ready to learn the tricks about your trackpad, easy tricks for everybody, then this is the video you should watch right now. Anyways, this is it in this video. If you found it helpful, hit that like button. Subscribe Crazy Editors for future tech tips, tricks and solutions. Until next time, you take care of yourself and I will see you in the next one.